Are you all ready? Last? Yes. Corner? All right. So, like in the last session, I asked you to start, at least have a glance about conjunctions. How many of you have done? No, ma'am. So busy in the weekend. Conjunctions? In the last session, we started with conjunctions. Let me tell you, teachers, primary students will not be able to use uh, the conjunctions, which is a part of your module that they have given for you. Okay. The whatever I'll be teaching now, it's maybe for you. The way you are going to uh, implement that in the classroom is up to you. How you are going to implement it. There are so many individual factors to be dealt with it. And each differs from one school to another school. So based on your school's response and the students try to implement conjunctions in the classroom. Okay, the board is good? Yes. Yes. So there are two types of conjunctions as you told. Which are those? Ah, subordinating and coordinating conjunctions. Okay, and you also told the acronym fanboys, isn't it? Yes. Huh. Fanboys, before teaching this, once the word level is over, once they are able to form the types of sentences, like assertive sentences or asking questions. You know, there are this part I wanted to say. Uh, I just said about the assertive statements in the classroom, like I am a girl, I am teacher, I am sitting in the classroom. But later on, I forgot also to tell you about the interrogative sentences. The way you, the students ask the questions, you know, you have to inculcate such uh, 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 environment in the classroom where they are able to frame questions, where they are able to ask questions. Most of our students are able to tell the sentence, but they are not able to ask the questions. So asking questions matters a lot in the classroom. Before you begin the session, for example, I'm just going to write something. For example, somebody said uh, novels, right? Uh, like things fall apart. One novel said by you people, uh, things fall apart. Okay. So what do you, und without understanding any of the context and things, just ask by giving the topic, ask the students to ask the questions. Uh, what it can be, what is it all about? Like, or maybe what do you understand by the title? For example, when we see these things fall apart, what do we understand? Generally, you say, don't relate it to the, to the novel people who are reading. Others people also can answer. What, what do you understand by the term or, or just the term things fall apart? Something bad, uh, something bad is happening. Then? Uh, things are falling down. Uh, expected things are not happening. Then? <coughs> Ah, dominant in a hero role. Unhappy. Ah, un he married many more girls. Ah, he married many more girls. Okay, one more thing. When does social injustice? Ah, social? Ah, social injustice is being happening. When we actually go through the novel, it's about the culture and the traditions that are breaking breaking apart. The novel talks about, it, isn't it? Ah, it's a yeah, it's a tragedy. Uh, it's very long. I have read this, but. Uh, maybe the uh, mostly Chinua Achibe, uh, Chinua Achibe focuses on the tradition and cultures of Africa, isn't it? The, the books of him are, are really very expressive in terms of its culture and tradition. African people are more like uh, preserving their own culture, their identity and their traditions. They're not going to give up their uh, tradition and culture so easily as the people of Bangalore give up, you know. Uh, uh, this is not degrading to any, any of the states or any of the people here, but the way uh, Tamilians hold on to their culture and the roots, isn't it? Yes. Uh, are very different from the people of Bangalore, you know, like like we are Bangaloreans. Sometimes we give up on that. It's okay, fine. Uh, when we see the metropolitan cities, people are traveling. Most of the people you find speaking in English. Just giving an example or speaking in, in uh, most probably in Hindi or like hardly you see any of the Urdu speaker. You hardly you find any of the Kannada speaker in most of them, the youth, we people like uh, anger to me, not me, I'm not a youth, anger to me. So those people, you know, they are more prone to the language. They're more prone to the English language because that's their living style now. They're, they're somewhere they have given up on their culture and traditions. And uh, when you go to Metro and the people are speaking in English, when you stand next to them and just looking at them, you somewhat you feel, I, I experienced myself just because I'm we I wear in a buyer. Uh, uh, they were talking. They were talking in English, and they were pointing out on me, uh, thinking that I do not know English. 
Yeah, just because I, uh, just because uh, I am wearing a nabaya and I don't dress up, I don't live in a mod modern style, and they thought I don't know English, and they were telling, uh, just look at this lady uh, wearing a nabaya and sitting like a village girl <laughs> in metro. I was laughing at myself, and I said, "Chalo, theek hai," and I got, I alighted the metro. This is how people they try it, just because knowing language is not enough to show up their identity. So. When you give any of the questions to the students, you write it something on the title. You know, you should always ask the students to ask questions or what do they understand it. You are activating the prior knowledge of the students. This is one thing as a teachers you have to do. Even if it's a small child, you know, you are teaching some objects. For example, Old McDonald had a form. You are teaching Old McDonald had a form. Okay, the students should know Old McDonald. McDonald's the name associated with the English terminology. Uh, the pronunciation should be correct. Okay, what do you understand by the term uh, farm? Like I'm just writing. The students do not know the word farm. Okay, uh, maybe uh, ask any questions related to farm. If you are not known also, like you do not know this terminology, ask a question. For example, ah, uh, what is a farm? Uh, very good. What is a farm? First question is what? Ah. Uh, where where do we use this word farm or okay then what is the farm where do we use it then ah where where can we see this farm when do you go to farm when you ask these questions when you know the word farm like what is the farm is a basic question what is the farm do you know farm like teacher asks do you know farm what is a farm ah why there there is a difference between farm and form uh, teachers please do not confuse your students form ah. <laughs> ah, form form is different. Farm is different. Okay, so try to clear this differentiation. You can't say form form for everything. Okay, farm. Old McDonald had a farm. Fa a a farm should come. Okay. Now, when you give this question, or if you to make more interesting, you have to pair up the students and ask any one questions which they want to elicit from the teacher or from their pair. For example, any two of you. You want to know anything about me? You ask two only one question from this side, one question from that side. Any one, ask any one question to me. You want to know about me? What you ask. Ha, huh. my name is Taskia Tabasu. What are your hobbies? Ah, uh, what are your hobbies? My hobbies are writing poetry, writing stories, writing puzzles. Students will be more curious to know about their teacher. Yes. And they, when you listen, when you give number, you know for the. You, Everybody will have WhatsApp numbers, isn't it? And they'll be checking onto your DPs, uh, any statuses. They maybe some some students they uh, good morning, good evening. Sometimes we mute also, isn't it? This is very common scenario because they are more curious to know what's happening. You attended a wedding, you uploaded a status, and they show my teachers uh, like look at my teacher, my teacher's family. Maybe they are kids, maybe they are husband, maybe he he. They come out with so many questions. To make it more more fun loving, you know, you should allow the students to ask any questions that they want to ask it from from their side. When they ask, you know, they'll be more curious to know about their teacher, and they are learning W H question forms or maybe just questioning techniques they are learning. And then you can make a circle, pair up a circle for the students, and then how many questions they 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 can be able to list out. That many questions they should be able to list out for each other. <coughs> Okay, this is a very small five minutes activity. Now pair up yourself with two, two of you, two, two of you. At least write minimum five questions that you want to know about the other uh, uh, person that is sitting next to you, and the vice versa. Okay, any don't ask what is your name, what's your age, are you a teacher? No, not everybody knows their name here. Most of you don't write what is your name. Some interesting questions. Okay, like don't ask are you married? No. Write, ask, and write the questions, and write one word answer. At least write one word answer for the answers that your partner is providing you. Where is your book? You didn't open also. Ah, thunder ga. Open chandi. This bench. Wait, wait. No, no, not front runners. We'll always call the back back benchers. Hmm. So in a maroon color shirt and next to you who is sitting next to you ha huh. ha huh. you people come here both of you come 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 fast hello ma'am my name is hasina i am from telangana where are you from i am from prakash from andhra and are you interested ma'am are you interested in cooking uh, yes ma'am i am interested in cooking okay you ask one question mm. 
ma'am do you have any pets yeah my pet i have i have a dog that uh, their name is tiger oh nice do you like playing games oh i used to play at uh, my college days nowadays i didn't but very nice question ma'am ma'am i have a question for you which color do you like most oh i like blue color ma'am oh nice ma'am uh, who is your favorite teacher <laughs> no yeah, there are so many so many teachers and little sinwa sir also is my favorite uh, teacher in my high school level yes ma'am we remember always ma'am uh, how is the cel training ma'am it is a wonderful training we got a very fortunate opportunity for us uh, five questions over okay over oh. last question mm, last question what is the goal ma'am really i said i want to become a bank manager but fortunately become a teacher thank and you ma'am you are doing an excellent job in your teaching profession ma'am thank you thank you lalita thank you. and hasina thank you thank you, thank you. give them a big round of applause for lalita and hasina so uh let me tell you the questions that they wanted there were few errors while asking the questions from both lalita and hasina's part but the appreciate the the appreciating part is that they attempted the uh, uh activity okay now two of you devendra and shankar the questions were very easy okay something that you want to know about each other come fast come my name my name is vee shankar what is your hobby sir listening music reading books okay so nice uh, where did you get your uh, primary education sir i completed my primary education at cps mathur okay super uh, how your students respond to you in your class sir some friends responding so nice some are not sir who is your favorite hero sir pawan kalya five questions so far ah shankar garu you ask the question now class what problems are you facing in ri sir ah <laughs> <laughs> actually Uh, there is no problem you, you can say that. anything no sir uh, regarding regarding food yes, and yes, uh, accommodation yes, like that actually there is no lot of problem i have faced in uh, 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 i faced only one problem that is uh, food problem uh, all, uh, we have eat uh, so rotis but here is only chapati so the problem i have faced okay Which place you like in Bangalore? Arai, 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 Bangalore. That's the answer. <laughs> How do you feel being at Arai? Arai is a good uh, training institution. Uh, uh, from this institution, we uh, have uh, uh, take lot of uh, knowledge from here. Right. Who is your favorite professor in RI? <laughs> Each period you will have their favorite faculty. <laughs> What is your hobby? <laughs> Play cricket and uh, reading news and uh, playing volleyball. Okay, no. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh. thank you thank for thank you for this opportunity oh very good shankar garu and devaraju devaraya yeah, sir okay now listen uh, you can uh, slightly uh, this is one of the ways of conducting one wh question activities where others will be curious to know they were questioning but people are more interested to answer the questions isn't it now one thing what you can do in the sense in the classroom you can allot the chits for the students depending on like uh, what where uh, which how many how where uh, like that and then give one one sheet for the students and then based on that they have to write one question and they have to uh, throw that you they have to write the name behind of that list and they have to pass it over to that person uh, secretly like pass who has written the question will not be known and like that but the questions here the uh, um, challenges are that 
one student will be writing so many students like uh, names will be repeated so maybe like for that you have to if the class is small this activity is good but if the class is large it will be little difficult so like that you can conduct one activity you can also give one paragraph small paragraph this is an apple i love apple uh, ma, apple uh, uh, apple is red in color uh, apple uh, keeps a man healthy uh, apple is good for health like that and then small this is very basic uh, this i am giving and then ask the students to frame questions on that paragraph okay what is the color of an apple red. they would have given the red uh, 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 apples are red in color they would have given or apple is red in color okay and uh, what are the benefits of um, apple it keeps a man healthy simple uh, see benefit these are the terms that your second and third grade students should know benefits health don't use uh, your mother tongue there okay like that that is also one of the techniques of uh, framing a question through questioning students learn a lot learn a lot rather than just uh, posing the assertive questions uh, assertive statements is that okay this is one thing that i wanted to say that i forgot it in the last session second thing is that concord subject verb agreement this uh, suman sir will be dealing as a part of grammar part but just giving you an idea uh, now for example when we listen to the shankar sir and uh, devaya's statement uh, uh, devaya sir asked uh, what is your hobbies okay ha uh, just an example to correct you sir whenever we are you the noun there is not what but it is hobbies so if hobbies are in plural you have to use are so that is an apple we say so that is not A, a noun here, a subject here that is used as a demonstrative an apple see uh, is so based on this we are using this not based on this keep this in mind okay uh, there are we say right um, there are dash apples uh, sorry there are so this is an our statement there are many apples so there is not a subject but apples are subject here this you have to keep in mind okay you can also say there is an apple because apples are subject here got it demonstrative that you have to keep in mind okay and second uh, thing concord plays a very very important role you can't teach concord for the student in grade 1 and 2 isn't it because students will be these are something that is an uh, abstract concept of understanding the language okay for example teacher teacher student will ask like why uh, teachers yes is there because you have taught singular and plural for them apple apples for noun but for the verb it's opposite isn't it if you are using yes it becomes it becomes singular for example what's your name sir ha huh. manohar dances okay manohar and bikshapati dance see plural dance singular dances dances student will ask you the question when we are writing the same thing for a noun why is that so that uh, we are adding yes to form a singular there for a grade 1 and grade 2 they will ask a lot of questions you will not have an answer for that okay it is a singular as the language is received language for us it's an rp okay so there what you can do you must speak in such a manner where students are listening the correct form of language only from there they'll pick it up if you are using long wrong language like wrong concord you are mixing up and then you are expecting the student in grade 4 and 5 to speak correct language that will not happen in the classroom while you are speaking even for a grade 1 student speak correctly okay now how you can teach for the students uh, depends on how you are going to uh, transact the knowledge but usually it starts don't start with like for this statement teacher teachers this is the statement that was taught for me teacher teachers in the classroom teachers teach in the classroom and we had to write 10 10 times the drill method that's not going to work it right now what you can do you can ask what is one thing that you can do like for example sing dance or write uh, listen ha huh, play now they have to select any one student and then like for example i sing a song for example now it is what's your name soumya soumya for example soumya is my friend soumya sings a song 